All right, Saturday. Let's get some better lighting up in this bitch. Saturday, it's about 11, 11 a.m. I am having my first meal. I'm starting this carb loading thing. I got some of this salami. I don't know if that's coming out backwards on the screen or whatever, but about to put it in uh, my fitness pal. First meal of the day. Man. Let's get it. All right, second meal of the day. I cooked some pulled chicken breast, frozen. I had to defrost that shit. And then I sauteed up some, I think it was like 80 grams of uh, spinach. It's like 2.30 right now. Second meal of the day. Look how healthy that shit looks though. I feel healthy just looking at that shit. It's about five o'clock. Headed to the gym. One of my favorite things to do, man. I'm very excited. Uh, just took my pre-workout. Uh, it takes me like 15 minutes to get to the gym. I'm at probably the longest fucking traffic light there is known to man. Uh, but I'm gonna get there. I'm going to get there. What is this shit? Ah, damn, man. I can see all kinds of shit on my face. Anyways. It's my therapy, man. It is my therapy. It is my one thing in life that I can trust in. It's gonna make me, you know, takes my stresses away. My anger. <laughs> I got some fucking anger issues, man. And that shit, I can put all that shit into the weights, dude. So I'm very excited. Leg day.
just got out of the gym and uh, gotta say it's definitely a really good workout probably a uh, leg day for me is probably one of the most uh, challenging mentally but most rewarding you know I was talking about it's my therapy and shit like I just think about all the shit that pisses me off whether it's my past or shit I'm going through now and when I'm lifting like uh, you know when I'm squatting or, or deadlifting I just put all my anger into the bar you know what I mean and I love it it's a uh, very very therapeutic and um, I don't know for me personally I need it if I if I go more than a couple days I'm fucking angry man I get irritated I, I feel like snapping on somebody man like I'm kind of a kind of a quiet guy until you know if I if I miss the gym <laughs> consistently I'm, I'm a pretty fucking irritable person to be around but I love this shit man uh, I also wanted to talk about these collars. These things are fucking nice. They have these, if you can see, there's a rubber inside and this lever right here. They're kind of hard to put on. This lever is kind of hard to, to like push on with uh, one hand. So you got to kind of, I was trying to videotape it and look all cool and make it look like I could do it with one hand when I couldn't. And uh, I failed, but man, once you get them on, dude, I was uh, doing my sumo deadlifts. So they don't, they don't move, man. I think they're. You can buy them on Amazon. I got them for thirty dollars, man. They're definitely highly recommended. I don't know why I always look like I got some shit in my teeth. But anyways, it's another beautiful day out here, man. The, the weather is perfect. I love living out here, man. Li living in California. Um, and oh, another thing, man, I haven't had that much to eat today, and I was I lifted more. I'm really not that strong. I'm a beginner, really, in the at deadlifting and and squatting. I just have been doing it for a couple months now, and but for me personally, you know, it's about uh, making gains, getting stronger. Number one, you know, I'm not trying to really put on size. Uh, as a priority, I'm trying to get stronger. I'm trying to get my weight up. And every every week, every day, it seems like I'm getting a little bit stronger. It's all about like the little increments. Like I'm lifting. I notice I lift uh, 195 on sumo deadlifts. I could only do that like twice uh, for like one set, I think. And I put that on. I did um, three three or four sets with 195, and I lifted it like four or five times for like all, all those sets. So I'm about to head home. Um, take my girl out to eat we're gonna go get some uh mexican food car back loading baby i love this shit it i felt good i barely had anything to eat today man i had uh it's 6 45 i had what was it the salami good protein in the morning i had some chicken breast five ounces of chicken breast with sauteed sauteed uh the fuck is that shit called spinach spinach man and that shit was bomb man i poured um some olive oil on it mm, 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 mm. That shit is delicious dude healthy good for you that's all i had and then i went to the gym I, you don't need carbs like you really don't need carbs before the gym like now i'm about to go fucking feast and you know i feel good i'm gonna stick to this carb backloading thing <laughs> Uh, it's working as far as I can see for me. So, you know, I have energy. I feel focused, man. When I get carbs in me, like, it fucks up my head, fucks up my body. And that's just me. I've been trying different diets for the past, like, year and a half since my stomach issues started. So, I just want to find something that will help my digestion and uh, my my energy levels you know that like they don't shoot up and then down and i want them i want them to stay steady throughout the day so another workout another leg day done uh probably try to get on video what i have for dinner so i can see it for myself in the future i gotta shave man all right peace all right it's kind of dark in here but first carbs of the day <laughs> 
chips and some bomb salsa. All right, so my meal, my dinner, it is eight o'clock. This is my first real meal, pretty much. And my girl has flautas. I don't know, the lighting sucks in here, but <laughs> we're at a Mexican restaurant about to feast, man. Life is good.